Hello, I'm Glenice Kutch, Product Manager with Transition Networks. And I'd like to introduce you to one of our most recent Power Over Ethernet solutions, the Ethernet over Coax Extender with PoE+. Power Over Ethernet is an effective way of delivering power along with data to devices at network edge locations. Delivery of PoE has traditionally been done by installing new CAT5 or better unshielded twisted pair Ethernet cabling, which limits the power distance to 100 meters. Transition Network's Ethernet over coax extender with PoE Plus uses existing 75 ohm coaxial cabling infrastructure to extend 10 100 1000 megabits per second Ethernet networks beyond the traditional 100 meter Ethernet cable limitation and provides PoE Plus power to connected IP devices, eliminating the need to tear out and replace the cable and to create new power runs to the precise location where a camera, wireless access point, or other IP device is needed. This solution is ideal for upgrading analog security cameras to IP networks or reutilizing in-building coax cabling for connecting wireless access points. Here's how it works. The Ethernet over coax extender with PoE Plus is a bookend solution consisting of a local unit, the power supply equipment or PSE, and a remote unit or the powered device or PD. The product is very flexible and offers a couple of options for the network connection. A copper network cable with an RJ45 connector from a switch is connected to the local unit's 10100-1000 base T input connector. Alternatively, if a fiber switch is used, either a single mode or a multi-mode fiber network cable can be plugged into the 1000 base X SFP connection. The existing coax cable is connected to a gigabit BNC connector or the data plus power out port on the local unit or power supply equipment for transferring power and data to the remote unit. The other end of the existing coax cable is connected to the remote unit's BNC data plus power in port. The remote unit is then connected to the IP camera, wireless access point, or other de IP device via an ethernet cable. If the end device does not need to be powered by PoE, the fiber connection can also be used for basic network extension between the remote unit and the camera wireless access point or IP device. There are two options for powering the Ethernet over coax extender with PoE Plus. Power for the local unit can be provided from an isolated plus 48 volt DC power source that meets IEEE 802.3 AF and AT isolation requirements of 1500 volt AC or 2250 volt DC using the 48 volt DC input terminal block. Or the designated 90 watt power supply with a four pin mini DIN. The local unit can then provide power for both the remote unit and PoE power for the connected camera or wireless access point. Alternatively, a plus 48 volt DC power source that meets IEEE 802.3 AF and AT isolation requirements of 1500 volt AC or 2250 volt DC can be used using the 48 volt DC input terminal block to, pr to power both the remote unit and the connected device, or the designated 90 watt power supply with the four pin mini DIN can also be used. That's how easy it is to get the Ethernet over coax extender with PoE Plus up and running. A web GUI is also provided to manage both the local and remote units. This can be done through a single IP address. Overall performance of the Ethernet over coax extender with PoE Plus exceeds most competitive products. The exact power and distance performance of the extenders is dependent on cable type, quality, and desired PoE output levels. For throughput, fast Ethernet speeds can be achieved up to 2,000 feet, 
near gigabit ethernet speeds can be achieved in excess of 1,000 feet. For typical RG59U coax cable with DC resistance of 50 ohms per 1,000 feet, full PoE plus power can be achieved up to an additional 400 feet or 122 meters. Cable with less DC resistance may increase distance. An online calculator is available at www.transition.com to help you determine performance using various cable types. Some of the benefits of Transition Network's Ethernet over coax extender with PoE Plus include this solution allows you to leverage existing coax infrastructure to extend the Ethernet network and provide PoE Plus power to remote locations. The near gigabit communication speed provides su sufficient bandwidth for many applications. No power outlet or additional power source is required for the remote device or connected PoE Plus device. Both the remote unit and the connected camera or other IP device can be powered by the local unit via PoE Power. It allows for maximum flex flexibility on location of remote devices, and copper and fiber SFP connections provide increased flexibility. Our proprietary PoE Plus coax end device classification prevents power delivery to non-transition networks remote devices. This mitigates damage to unintended devices. It features a remote PoE Plus port with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT full PoE Plus power at distances up to 400 feet. With our auto power reset feature, the PoE Plus connected device can be monitored and power cycled or rebooted in the event it becomes unresponsive, which saves installers time and cost and reduces truck rolls and network downtime. In addition, a single IP address can be used for management of both the local and remote extender, which minimizes confusion and IP address exhaustion. We hope this video has helped give you an overview of the Ethernet over coax extender with PoE Plus and the value it offers, including helping you to get more value from your existing infrastructure investment, helping you eliminate time and cost of installing new cable by reducing planning time, purchasing cost, disruption of existing networks, or potentially hazardous materials within walls and ceilings, and the need to dispose of existing cable and also helping to eliminate power challenges by allowing you to locate devices precisely where needed without having to install new power outlets or power cable runs. For more information about the Ethernet over coax extender with PoE Plus or other solutions, please check out our website at www.transition.com. Thanks for watching.